tap in. And just about one year ago, I did this video depicting my workflow when it came to music video editing. This video, however, I'm gonna be going over what I believe to be a much efficient workflow when it comes to editing music videos. For those of you who don't know, you're gonna learn today. The Venture Resolve have a feature called Multicam. We're gonna be using that to actually cut up our video, pretty much lay the foundation for it. You have my attention. Everything else can be stacked on top of that. So let's go. So now here in DaVinci Resolve, I have four different scenes from my video. Then I have the master audio. I'm gonna select all of those. I'm gonna right click. Then I'm gonna go down to auto sync audio. And I'm gonna select based off waveform. Now, as long as you don't have any problem with your audio, you won't get any uh, error messages or warning messages. If you do, it'll pop up a little screen just letting like, you know this particular clip didn't sync with audio, so on, so, so, and so. And so now I got the audio sync. I'm gonna select all four of my scenes, minus the audio right click and then I'm going to create new multicam clip when this little window pop up we're going to change angle sync to sound which is that's since that's the main thing we really worry about is basically making sure all of our clips are actually leap sync to the audio and give it a name i'm just going to leave it as default and then down here at the bottom it has move source clips to original clip folder or original clip bin so what that's going to do is going to create a bin aka a folder within your media pool that you can go back and reference to if you need your original clips so now that it's done, I'm gonna hit create. This is the bin here with the original clips. I'll go back to master. This here is my multicam clip. So I'm gonna drop this down to the timeline. Now, if you play it through, you only get the top clip. So now I'll go over here to my source viewer and just a little drop down here. I'm gonna hit the arrow and select multicam. Then I'm gonna go down here to audio, right click on the audio and go to switch multicam clip. I'm gonna just leave it at angle one. So what it's gonna do is I'm chopping up my clips. It's gonna keep my audio consistent throughout the whole clip. No, even though my audio is all sync, if you go through and start chopping up the clip, it'll create these weird little breaks in between your song. So now that that's set, I'm gonna go back up here to my source viewer and I'm gonna select video and these little three icons here. This is audio and video, then strictly audio. I'm gonna select video. While I'm chopping up the clip, it's only gonna chop up the audio. Now, as far as I know, this only works with the top keys on your keyboard, not the keys on the side. So using the number keys, you'll basically press which angle you wanna switch to. In my situation, since I have four clips, I can use keys one through four to switch between the different clips. So basically you can chop up your clips anywhere from one to nine different clips. It basically just expand the viewer to incorporate all those clips. So now I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna shut off my media pool and I'm gonna hit play on my clips. So as it plays through, I can actually see all of them. And then from there I can pick which, way, which angle I believe is the best angle. <laughs> then once I get to the angle that I like, I can hit two, go a little bit longer, then I hit three. And then if I want to, I can go back to one so on and so forth. You basically just keep going through chopping up the clips until you're done. <laughs> now, after you're done chopping up the clips, if you review the video and think that you want to make some changes, you can easily do that by right click on the clip and then select switch multicam angle. So right now I said at two, so I'm gonna switch it to four. Maybe I believe that angle is better. So if you think that's a better angle, you can easily change it out. You can also adjust the length of the clips by placing your cursor in between your two clips and allow you to stretch and shorten the clips as necessary or you can hit T on the keyboard and move along the footage, maintaining that placement, but also changing the footage for your edit. My original workflow is kind of similar to this. I would have all the clips stacked on my timeline. I would go through and chop up the clips, keeping the part I want to keep, and then what part I don't want, I disable it and go to the next clip and basically just kind of go back and forth, just picking out my clips. It takes a little while. It's actually the most time consuming part of my workflow. <laughs> now, one thing with this method in comparison to my original workflow, you can't change the clip colors. So if I go back to media pool and I go to original clips, you see here's little indicators here. This is where I change the clip color. Well, actually this one where I flag. So my original workflow, I would actually change the clip color before I would move the clips to the timeline. That way later on when I do my color grading, I can go to the color page, select clip color orange, and all the cuts throughout my video that are orange clips, I can color grade one and then just have that color grade consistently throughout the whole video. To try to replicate that, you can see what angle you at. And then basically you just want to go through and hold the control or command, select your clip. So that's angle one, scroll down, find another angle one, continue forth. Once you have all your angles selected, you can right click and then change the color. So right click, then go to clip color. I'm going to change this to yellow. So now when I go back into the color page, I can go up here to clips, hit the drop down clip color, I can select yellow, and then it'll show me all the clips on my timeline that are yellow. Then I can go in here and say, for instance, color grade this clip. I'm just gonna throw a, a letter on here. So then say for instance, if I had 10 or 15 of them, I can hit control A, 
go back to my original clip, which you can tell is color graded by the number here is being colored. Then I can click on my mouse wheel and then we'll apply that color grade to all my clips. So now you can go to clip two and you see it has the same color grade. Also when color grading, you can also just go straight into the color page and you can just eyeball it. As long as you have clips cut on, you can just go through and pick a clip, color grade it, and then holding control or command on Mac, you can just go through and select all the different clips that's from that same particular scene and then color grade that way by clicking the mouse wheel. By the way, if you don't have a mouse, you might want to get one. So you can color grade that way. Also, I think you can group them too. So you can actually group them beforehand, then color grade it, however you want to do it. But which workflow you think is better? The one I came up with in this original video or using the multicam feature? Let me know in the comment section down below. Until the next video, y'all be easy.